Welcome to Red 35 and today we are looking at the brilliant Billingham 25 rucksack right here. Ugh. If you have been following our channel, you know that I just recently been to New York and I took this billion, billion M25 rucksack to New York. Uh, I mentioned the reasons why I use the rucksack instead of my usual shoulder bag because uh, I want to carry a little bit more. And uh, in this case, it actually does the job very well because I was holding quite a lot of stuff in this thing. Even it, it may not look as big, which I'm going to show you a bit later, you know, how much this thing can actually carry. But um, in terms of, you know, the bag itself, you know, when I was in New York, it was totally brilliant you know I happened to bring all our lovely British weather over to New York and it was chucking down rain and it was cold and misery miserable and uh, yeah it, it was uh, actually quite good for testing the weatherproofness of this brilliant bag <laughs> So here we are looking at Billingham 25 rucksack here and you may not know that this is actually not a brand new rucksack by Billingham and in fact this is the exact same model that they have released some years ago to celebrate their 25th anniversary um, but due to demand it's come back and here we are looking at this brilliant bag let's have a look at the you know like the actual build quality and weatherproofness of these things you know first of all like any Billingham bags you know like is really really nicely made all the stitches leather are like top grays and in terms of weatherproofness gosh man that you've seen my footage already you know like how wet it was in new york and i was carrying this the full day and uh, nothing was wet inside you know like even though the, the outside looks completely soaked through uh, because it's canvas material and it, it just proved to be you know like so weatherproof the canvas itself is obviously use the same material with all their shoulder bags you know they have this uh butai booting <laughs> i'm gonna put the word down here let's see what, what what that word is material basically bonded to the actual canvas itself so water cannot actually penetrate so that means that you know like uh, uh, it's a very waterproof material and having said that though, uh, the, the, the zip itself is not uh, the latest stormproof zip that they use on the Hatley 1 series or even the Hatley Small Pro. Uh, so it's a traditional zip that they use, that's why they have this, what they call the storm guard, to kind of, uh, you know, protect the zip. Usually, you know, like if you're not, you know, walking in the thunderstorm scenarios and this will keep the back very, very dry. The zip is very high quality, I don't think much water will get through it, but this is will just give you the kind of like the added protections to it. And the second zip at the front pocket was covered by the uh, by the little cover here with the leather detail, also helping to uh, kind of drain away the, the rainwater from above. Uh, and on the sides, obviously, the, all the leathers are treated, so they, you know, they don't get damaged from normal raindrops, so, uh, like any of the Billingham bags with leather details. So let's look at the bottom, and of course, in terms of, you know, protection, you know, obviously it has a waterproof canvas, but at the bottom it has added these four brass feet, you know, like, so it, the bag can stand up on its own, and uh, even though, the, the, you know, it's waterproof but you know it's still nice to lift it up a little bit so it doesn't touch any dirty stuff underneath so it's a quite a good considerations uh, you know from the design point of view you know it, I think it's a very good protected bag
If you've been following our videos and you know that I usually use shoulder bags almost exclusively. So, you know, when I first picked up the 25, I was a little bit, hmm, how much stuff can I fit in it? You know, I know I'm going to carry a little bit more than usual for the New York trip. So, uh, but, you know, I gonna give it a try so uh, here we here we are you know like when I actually start packing and I like, suddenly it shocked me how much stuff I can actually put in this um, you know I have bigger Billingham shoulder bags like the the 445 and I also have the uh, Eventer which they both are relatively big back for you know for my bigger shoots uh, so this is actually quite you know when it first arrived I just thought you know it's quite small you know and uh, but I know it's a rucksack so you should you should actually hold a little bit more than shoulder bag so when I start packing then I realize I can actually hold, let me give you a list now, I can hold my M1 Mark II with uh, uh, one lens attached which was the 17 1.2 Pro lens. I also carry the 25 1.2 Pro, the 40-150 Pro, my Mavic Pro uh, and with the AV pocket on either side I carry one extra battery, the controller, uh, my power bank and in the front pocket, I also fitted the uh, the Osmo Mobile, uh, my vlog pod, the mini tripod, the Manfrotto Evo, uh, the mics, extra batteries uh, for both the Osmo and also the cameras, uh, lens pen, uh, lens cloth, uh, tissues. <laughs> I actually have quite a lot of stuff stuffed into that thing. You know, I, I was actually quite shocked. Oh, one more thing. Yes, I managed to also slot in my uh, the giant iPad into it as well. So you know, it's amazing how much stuff I can actually put in this thing. And uh, it, even though it weights a little, you know, when I was carrying it, but when I get to the location, obviously I'm not carrying everything with me on everything every single day. So apart from the day I was hoping to fly my drone, which I didn't eventually because of the weather. Uh, uh, but apart from, apart from that day, you know, on a normal day out, I was only carrying the camera and two lenses, uh, just the Osmo as well. And yeah, so it was relatively light and very good for carrying stuff around. Would I recommend the Billingham 25 rucksack for any photographer? And the answer is a very simple yes. And first of all, protection is really ultra protective with your gears. The padding is so thick and even thicker than the normal shoulder bag. So it's really, really good. Like I mentioned earlier, you know, about the weather proofness, you know, like it completely protective my gears in heavy rain situations. All my stuff were really dry inside, even though the outside was completely soaked, including myself. Uh, and also, uh, in terms of holding gears, if you are traveling, you want to take just a little bit more than usual. Uh, this bag is perfect because you can hold quite a bit. You know, the size might be quite deceiving how much you can actually stuff into it. Uh, but you saw the little clip earlier, and that's how much I can stuff into this, this bag. And also, you know, uh, uh, in terms of uh, build quality, it lasts long. As you know, it's a Billingham bag. It's handmade, good quality materials that will last for years and years and years to come. So anyway, so this is my conclusion. I know, you know, like a lot of, I can talk about this bag and um, I, you know, I just love Billingham in general. Uh, but for this time, I'm not biased <laughs> and I'm talking about genuine experience. So this is actually very good. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention is obviously shoulder bag compared to rucksack and um, you know as you know if you if you're traveling you're thinking you're going to take a little bit more shoulder bag may not be a good option because you're going to put a lot of load onto one shoulder at a time and rucksack you know you can spread the load quite evenly on your shoulders that means you can walk all day without really tiring yourself out so you can spend more time shooting and enjoying yourself rather than feeling tired and looking for a coffee shop actually i do still look for coffee shop mm. Anyway, uh, if you like the video, remember to click the subscribe button and then I would really appreciate your support and keep our channel growing. So until next time, see you then. Bye.